let us imagine a block of mass m and we want to press it to a rough wall as shown in the figure if you don't apply any force on the block it will automatically slip down in the downward direction due to its weight so we can see the motion the relative motion is in the downward direction and hence the frictional force automatically starts in the upward direction so whenever the body starts moving in the downward direction frictional force opposes its motion and hence it is in the opposite direction to prevent this body from slipping we shall apply some force like this a horizontal force f we are actually applying the force on the block this in turn applies the force on the wall which acts like an action the block applies action on the wall the wall applies the reaction on the wall with the same magnitude but in the opposite direction hence this is the direction of the normal reaction and as we have pointed out earlier you might have understood that uh, noticed that uh, the frictional force and the normal reaction are obviously perpendicular to each other so for the block not to slip for the block to be in the state of equilibrium for the block to be in the state of equilibrium that means it shall not move in the state of rest or equilibrium it is possible only when the force is acting on it is balanced so i can say frictional force shall be balanced by the weight of the body we know as for the definition of frictional force mu into normal reaction equal to mg in this case normal reaction is nothing but the applied force that is equal to mg that means we shall apply a force a minimum force of mg by coefficient of friction to keep this block intact in that state without slipping if you apply any force less than that much then the body starts slipping down because friction cannot support it of course you can apply anything more than that that is fine the body will be still in the state of equilibrium state itself let us consider some another case where this time we don't want to push the block onto a floor rather you would like to hold it with two hands just you want to put the block between your two hands it is possible only when you apply forces with your hands let with your left hand you are applying the force like this and with the right hand you are applying the same magnitude force in the opposite direction we know obviously that it starts slipping between the hands because the weight is acting in the downward direction that is pulling the body in the downward direction when it is trying to slip in between the hands in the downward direction it is obvious that the frictional force acts in a upward direction again to get the balance to get an equilibrium we want to identify a condition that uh, what is the minimum force that we need to apply to get a kind of an equilibrium we can write the same like what we have written in the previous case like uh, frictional force shall be equal to weight mu into normal reaction is equal to weight in this case normal reaction is not one force but two forces because you are applying the force with uh, both the hands and be clear and careful in understanding that uh, these two forces are not going to cancel because they are acting on two different points of the body and uh, at this point there will be one normal reaction like this at this point there will be another normal reaction they are also not going to cancel because they are acting on the two different points they add up together that's why we have not written only one f like we have written in the previous case but we have written 2f therefore the f minimum force required to keep the block in the state of rest between the two hands in the state of equilibrium is mg by 2 mu you might have noticed when compared with the previous case this is only half because you are obviously using both the hands and you are calculating the force applied by only one hand